Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to be bringing you a new recipe. It is dead simple to make, like honestly anyone can master this. And the bonus is it's also pretty healthy and it will cure any sweet tooth cravings. So you do not have to feel guilty. I will show you what you need and let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna need a large protein bowl and we're gonna need two ripish bananas. So ripe is basically when it's starting to go a bit browner, it's easy to mash. If you have small bananas, I would put in three and then large ones, you just need two. And then yeah, just start mashing them into a large mixing bowl. Actually, oh my gosh, that's hard. When you've done that, this is how it should look. As you can see, all nice and mashed up. No big lumps, because you don't want any lumps in it. Next, we're gonna add the sugar. I'm just gonna use honey, some runny honey, a quarter cup, which is 60 ml. I always use cup, cup measurements. I don't know, it's just easier for me. A little stir, and then we are going to add one egg. Again, you can crack the egg into a cup and then add it in. I always just do it straight in. I nearly mess it up, but thankfully there's no eggshells. So I'm just gonna put that to one side. We're gonna add the coconut oil. You can also add butter if you prefer. Um, I don't know, I just found the coconut oil seemed to work absolutely fine. So we need a one third cup demolish everything um which <laughs> oh my god i'm like a bull in a china shop honestly um these are plastic so it's fine so 80 mils i'm just going to get a spoon to a spoon it here if you're using coconut oil like i am uh you will need to melt the coconut oil so i'm going to just spoon it into here and then pop it into the microwave just to make it so it's a runny mixture because it will just blend in a lot easier and i'm all about making my life easy when it comes to cooking. Okay, so this is going to go into the microwave now for about, I'll start on 30 seconds, it's just until it's more liquid. So I've got my coconut oil, it's all melted, I'm just going to add straight to the mixture. Like it does look a bit weird at the moment, I'm not going to lie, um, but don't worry, it will come together. Okay, so now I'm going to add the dry ingredients. So I'm going to start with the flour. I use a mixture of wholemeal flour and porridge oats. Again, the choice is yours which flour you want to use. Wholemeal is slightly healthier. So I'm going to do a cup of flour and then half a cup of porridge oats. some baking powder um, it's really important that you add the baking powder and baking soda especially when you're not using self-raising flour so I'm going to do a teaspoon and a half of baking powder a teaspoon of baking soda I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt that'll be enough whatever those are the bases to the muffins and then these are all added optional extras that I just think make it taste really nice. So for example, I like to put in some chia seeds. I will do two tablespoons of these or however many I've got left. I've not got that many left actually so I might just finish it. So I do two tablespoons but there's a tiny bit left so I'm just going to finish the packet. And then I'm gonna add some cocoa powder. You can use cocoa powder. Cocoa powder is just a slightly bit healthier. Um, it tastes the exact same. It'll give it that little bit of a chocolatey taste. And again, I'm gonna do two tablespoons of this. Next, I'm gonna add cocoa nibs. Again, you don't have to add these. I just like to taste them. I'm gonna do three tablespoons. They have a little bit of a crunch to it. And again, they're a bit chocolatey. So, Pat, 
marshmallow mixture. I need to get a spoon of West actually. Give these a little bit of a mix to combine these together. Then we're gonna bring back this bowl and I'm gonna add the blueberries. Oh. Add as many or as little as you like. Uh, for this recipe, I suggest using at least two cups. Okay, so I've got my cup of blueberries. I'm gonna add that to this mixture. Maybe it's just the whisk now, not the fork. And then I'm just gonna add the dry mixture. Now that's all combined, it should look something like that. It should make 12, so just get a little muffin tray of 12. Add the little paper cases, whatever you've got and just start adding it equally. Another optional thing you can add, I was gonna add, wrong packet, one moment, is the flaked almonds. I think they taste really nice on top. I just sprinkle them on. You can actually add almonds into the mixture. The great thing is with muffins, you can pretty much add Anything that you really like, any nuts and like I say, these almonds are pretty nice. So now these are ready to go into the oven, 175 degrees fan. And I would say check them after 20 minutes, usually around 20 to 25 minutes. And like a cake mixture, you will test them by putting in a skewer or anything and making sure that none of the mixture comes back out. If it does, it means it needs a little bit longer. But as you can see, that was really, really quick. You're basically just throwing all the ingredients in together. There's no secret little methods or anything like that. You've not got a fold in the mixture. It's so easy and you can make it your own. So trust me, it's one worth trying. So let's hope these turn out okay and I won't look like an absolute idiot. <laughs> So I've taken the muffins out, they're all done. I'm sorry about that, I forgot to film me doing it. But I did do the little test, the skewer test, in which you just stick it in, and as long as it comes out clean, that means they're ready. Transfer them to a cooling rack, leave them to cool, and then they are ready to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments if you make it yourself, and if you adapt any of the ingredients, I'd love to see how it turns out. Any questions, again, just drop them down in the comments and like and subscribe. <laughs> I always feel a bit cringe saying that, but I've got loads more videos coming and yeah, I will see you in the next one.